Brains? Check. Heart? Check. Courage? Check. Big green floating head? Check. A whole lot of talent and passion? Check. That's everything we need, so let's kick off day four of Mulkity! presented by Mulcahy Youth Arts Festival is in full swing and with only one day of rehearsals left our spectacular cast and crew are focused excited and ready to rock. So I'm Helen Wade principal of St Joseph's Catholic School in Mount Isa and we're really excited because from our Catholic schools in Cloncurry and Mount Isa we have 33 students here at Mulcahy this week. Uh, so there's a variety of options for us to get here and to stay so we have some students staying out at JCU but we have a lot of families who book from year to year to make sure they've got this week off work and accommodation so that they can come to Mulcahy as a family. I just think it's great that our children get to build connections with other children who live over 900 kilometres away so I know that we have students who have been to Mulcahy before and this is their annual catch-up so it's great to see that those connections are still strong despite the distance and they get to come together at this wonderful event each year. 400 Emerald City citizens have formed a choir, the likes of which have never been seen. Their lion-hearted leader Rachel Cairns is a crowd favourite in these parts and caught up with us to share how they've been travelling. My name is Rachel Cairns and I conduct the choir at Mulcahy in 2021. The week has progressed really really quickly, uh, it seems that we start work on Monday and then time flies and before we know it, it's Friday. It always feels like we won't have time to do everything, but it's been a wonderful time working with our choral students. Mulcahy is unique in that it offers a focused and intensive week of working in one particular genre and then collaborating with many other disciplines to produce a stunning end product. For our students, it's all about creating and being allowed to be exclusively creative for five glorious days. I approach it really like a jigsaw puzzle that needs putting back together. And so it's about mapping out the repertoire, taking it apart and putting it back together in a way that students can learn it and learn it pretty quickly. The Mulcahy Choir this week have really embraced the challenge of learning some very demanding repertoire. They are focused, enthusiastic and the most vibrant and energetic group of young musicians. Why did you want to do Mulcahy? Because I thought it would be a new opportunity to make new friends and learn new things and have a really fun experience. It's been really great. I've really enjoyed learning a lot from Rachel. She's a really good teacher and I think the choir has progressed heaps this week and we're really ready to perform on Friday. How do you feel about standing on the big stage Friday night? I'll be really nervous, plus my mum and dad and brother will be in the crowd. I'm also really excited though. We've had to learn so much in such a short period of time, but it's been so fun and I can't wait to perform. Now it's been told that a merry band of Winkies have been travelling through Oz, leaving a trail of toe tapping and thigh slapping wherever they go. The mastermind behind this is none other than Wayana O'Keefe. Hi, my name is Wayana O'Keefe and I'm the band specialist at Mulcahy 2021. Wow, it's been an epic week, um, but amazingly rewarding. I'm actually really surprised at how much we've got done over this whole week. So Monday was kind of getting it all together, meeting each other, getting used to me and me getting used to them. and then we just work, 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 work. The band are sounding amazing. I'm so impressed with them and they're such an amazing group of inspiring musicians. Music and the arts is where the joy comes from in students. Without giving them a space or a forum to be able to do something they feel passionate about, what is school good for? Something like Mulcahy enables these kids to be able to explore their passions. You might be a band nerd, you might be a dance nerd or your drama nerd, but here they can all be nerds together, they can all share their passion, we are all amazingly in together. They can share a love of music and they just want to be here and have a really great time. What's it like working with Wayana Oki? She is absolutely amazing. She brings such enthusiasm and excitement to Ben and she just pushes us to do our best. What's been your favourite thing about Mulcahy so far? Uh, probably all the unique pieces we get to play. It's very interesting, very stressful, very nervous, but also very fun. And I'm excited to see how the production will come together at the end. My most favourite thing is probably hitting things as hard as I can. That's why I chose percussion. Getting to play a solo in Mulcahy is a bit nerve-wracking because I've never done it before. But it's also really exciting because it's such a great experience to do if you want to play music in the future. And it's really great to get recognised for all the hard work you put into music. 
Now that we've learnt music, rehearsed lines, practiced choreography and made friends, there's nothing left to do but to dig deep, click our heels and get this show in front of our sold out crowd tomorrow night. Make sure you stay with us down this yellow brick road by using the hashtag Mulkity21. And the next time I see you, we'll be on stage. <laughs>